Hey everybody, welcome to Pace Studios here in New York City. We are here today with some very special guests, Pokey Lafarge. Guys, thank you so much for coming down and uh, playing for us today. Great to be here. You got a new record out called Manic Revelations. Uh, I think you're going to play a couple songs from that uh, for us today, as well as one slightly older one. Uh, so tell us a little bit about this first song you're going to do for us. Uh, this is kind of a Kinks meets Cajun meets South City St. Louis jam. Uh, I don't know, it's just one of those tunes you write in five minutes and you say, hey, boys, what do you think? And he said, I like it. Cool, let's record it. And uh, it's called Good Luck Child. Great. Living on my own has done too much on me to good luck charm. Well, I ain't superstitious, but things have got to change. Can't live this way. Yeah, it's been so long waiting for you to come. Without you, I make one of decisions. Get in bad position. Yeah, my conscience tries to tell me. Thank you, guys. So uh, we've all been digging the record here uh, in the office, and one thing that I noticed was that, uh, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, is that you guys have sort of, you know, the, the sound is a little bit different than I think what we've come to expect uh, from Pokey Lafarge records. A little more of like a 60s soul feel in there, a little bit of Sam Cooke vibe occasionally going on. That's what I was getting, anyway. And... It was funny because when I got to the end of the record, the last song is called I Will Never Change. And I was thinking, well, it sounds like he sort of kind of has. So I was wondering, like, <laughs> what sort of brought that on? That more horns, a little bit more of a low end sound. What, you know, what led you to, to, to the sound of this record here? Well, we have a sax player who's kind of schooled in uh, traditional jazz, trumpet players, more like modern jazz and, and different kind of funk and soul stuff. Uh, a country musician, uh, a punk rocker, and, a, and an all-around kind of bass player back here, and a, and a drummer who grew up on the Four Seasons and the Beatles. So I don't know. It's kind of we all made it together, and uh, you know I think we're pretty conscious of trying to allow everyone to breathe and have their input on on the record. Though I wrote all of the tunes, you know, with the collaborations and stuff like that. I will never change. You mentioned uh, Adam and I wrote together. Um, but you know, it's the musicians that make the make the recordings, right? So, was there was there any sort of conscious effort on this one to try to do something a little different, or the songs just sort of come out the way they come out? Uh, 
Uh, sorry, I gotta grab my coffee. Here. <laughs> um, yeah, there was some conscious, uh, conscious efforts, some conscious thoughts on on some things we wanted to do. Didn't try to get too set in stone, though. Uh, maybe just use some things as a guide. To be quite honest, I think. I know I wanted to get more space in music, so whereas a lot of the, my music before was on top of the beat, a lot of swing stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, kind of try to flip the beat a little bit and put it more on the backbeat so that there was maybe some more space for us to breathe and do some different type of, of arrangements. And, and uh, it sh- you know, shifts perspective, you know? The whole thing changes that, that way, you know? Uh, subtly. Yeah, but different. You know, p- listeners feel things and hear things much more drastically different than than I would or we would. You know, oh, that's interesting. They're not there to chart the progression while you're writing the songs and right, yeah. while you're living and getting the inspiration for the songs. You know, they just hear the record. So I understand if people may think that it's different. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, so the next one you're gonna do is this uh, another one from the new one? Uh, I thought we could do one from uh, the previous album, Something in the Water. Yeah. Cool. Um, the thing I find very inspiring is traveling, and uh, this is a song that came out of that. All right. If you've ever been to Spain, you would feel the same way. <laughs> You'd want to write a song, too. On the first night we met You had crossed my tongue Traced through my veins You could have gone with me On the morning I left Oh, la miva Marco, senorita You danced the sardana Bare feet on the floor When you get tired Lay your head on my chest Please hear my song Don't you cry Oh, my heart is a bird that sings while you're gone. She said, da 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 The loneliest song you've ever heard. La da 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 Goodbye, Barcelona, so glad I've been shown you. I'm going, I'm leaving the land of the sun.
Thank you guys. So I'm wondering, uh, with the new record, Manic Revelations, uh, I'm curious, what, what is a Manic Revelation, other than uh, maybe the Cardinals having a losing season? Uh, funny. Sorry if that was a low blow. Uh, it's okay. I'm a Cubs fan, man. <laughs> um, well, you know, Manic Revelation, you know, we should, sounds like a new drug. We should uh, kind of make Yeah, you, a, do you, have, you, know, you don't have it, do you? Well, I see all these, like, Timothy Leary posters and, and Fillmore posters you have around here, you know. I'm starting to have some some revelations, some uh, thoughts back to to our first time like, playing Fillmore last year. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, I think it's just, a, it's just a fancy word for songs, probably. I mean, <laughs> it, you know, you get in a particular state of mind, uh, the creative when you're creating um, everything you do is for a song everything in your life is for a song always looking for it um, they tell you to try and be in the moment you're like yeah but what's gonna get me to the to the insp inspiration so when you get the the revelation you get the song that's the reward for, right. for the for the insanity the, ins the functional insanity that we all live the bus we live in and stink up and Drinking and sleeping together. Were the revelations a little bit more manic this time around, or are they always equally manic? I think they they always are sure, but there might have been a little bit more at stake this time, a different kind of desperation. Yeah. You know, there, you know I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Well, uh, well, ellipses from there. We can uh, we can go into the the third song you're gonna do for us today. Back to the new record. What's this one? Yeah, uh, we're gonna do a song here. Uh, let's do better, man, than me. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna put the guitar down for a song. I guess I'll put my coffee down too. This is called Better Man Than Me.
takes a better man than me to win your heart. Better man, don't you want to be a better man? Better man, better man. Well, my mama tried to tell me, my friends did too, but I wouldn't heed their advice. All the women in my life couldn't steer me right, and I was hopeless. Thank you guys. Thank you for having us. That was a lot of fun. Uh, so you guys, uh, you guys are playing. You got a couple of New York shows uh, tomorrow night at Bowery, I believe. Is that right? And Thursday night at Rough Trade in Brooklyn. Uh, so you guys are on the road. Um, I imagine more dates on your w website, various social media, and whatnot. Yeah, actually, we're just wrapping up a, a five-week tour here. But um, after we leave New York, we're going to Philly. So I guess Philly would be Friday. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, we're at the Green River Music Festival in Western Massachusetts. And then Sunday, we're at the um, Red Wing Roots Music Festival in Mount Sol in Virginia. Pretty cool. good for yeah, a yeah, musician. Yeah, not bad, huh? man. Not bad. And then we're going out to... Uh, I could rattle off all kinds of dates. Yeah, <laughs> just go to pokeofars.net. Um, the album is for sale on there as well. Uh, right. Manic Revelations. The tour. All right, man. Thank you so much again for uh, coming to play for us. All you guys, thank you so much. And come back anytime. Happy to have you.